getting drunk and taking provocative pictures of an action figure and then creating a Facebook page for them could have been my worst idea ever. I'm a professional, I own a business, I teach at a university, and like it or not, I have a personal brand to think about. But the thing about bad ideas is at some point, someone, sometimes many someones, will think your bad idea is a brilliant idea. Case in point, when I sobered up and went to remove the captain's fan page, lo and behold, 300 people that I did not know thought this was a brilliant idea. That felt like critical mass to me. Enough so that I wanted to play around with the idea a little more. Maybe the whiskey was right after all. <laughs> with a master's in leisure studies, I know all about the value of play. Non-competitive play is proven to relieve stress, elevate happiness, bond us to others, and ignite creativity. I, deci I decided to add play instigator to my repertoire. So I started taking the captain with me everywhere, documenting his adventures, and then posting them to his Facebook page which often led those around me to question my sanity and those on Facebook to praise my brilliance. As we went around adventuring, some funny things started happening, though. The people around me wanted in. Strangers would want to help me set up better shots. They'd want to take pictures with him. They wanted to know where the photos were going to be so that they could track him. They really just wanted to play with us. Then his digital community wanted in. They wanted more, bigger, better, and they wanted to be involved like we froze. Oh, they, we skipped one again. Okay, that's okay. They started sharing content that they thought the captain might like, suggestions of events he should be attending, places he should go on vacation. They would ask questions like, where's Beverly? Or why didn't number one lead that away mission? Well, because I didn't have those action figures, I only had the captain. Suddenly, I started getting packages from all over the country with friends for the captain. How these people found out who I was or what my mailing address was, I will never know. But after months, I had every next generation character. How could I thank them? Well, it had to be big, and since I always wanted to learn how to do stop motion, naturally, I encouraged my girlfriend to help me make a video. Little did I know it would take 15 hours, but fun for me, fun for them. Strangers and friends started sending me anything and everything that involved Patrick Stewart or Captain Picard, most of which revolved around appearances he was making. They wanted the captain to meet the captain. So I set our first goal, meet Patrick Stewart. It seemed easy enough. He was going to be at Wizard Con, and for 80 bucks, I could get my picture taken with him. The fans were ecstatic. I might have been too. But two days before the con, he canceled, and it was devastation all around. But the fans were not deterred. Months later, I got hundreds of pings that Patrick Stewart was going to be narrating the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> Naturally, I got front row seats, and while we were a few feet away from each other, they were, it didn't feel like enough. The guy behind me was so excited about the captain that he convinced me to hide in the basement bathroom for two hours waiting for the, him to come to the after party. When we got kicked out, it was a sad moment. It was progress, but not a win. Then it happened. I was in New York when Patrick Stewart uh, had a two-man show on Broadway. My girlfriend got us tickets. At the end, they said, you know, if you make a donation to Broadway Fights AIDS, you can come backstage and have your picture taken with the captain. So, I'm sorry, with Patrick Stewart. <laughs> so, I ran. I got the picture. The fans went crazy. It was epic. And then they asked, what's next? So, I thought, all right, let me set the bar high. The captain needs to boldly go to the final frontier. I thought for sure this would take a really long time. But four months later, I was at the TED conference, and I'm sitting around a fire with this young, talking to this young, spirited gentleman. And I was like, what do you do? And he's like, something, 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 space. And I whipped out the captain, and he squealed. And within a few weeks, he had launched a Kickstarter and raised over $6,000 with backers like Peter Diamantis of the X Prize. Before I knew it, I was hanging out at the University of Illinois with a bunch of aerospace engineering grads. I watched these whiz kids construct an elaborate device, cameras attached to a massive weather balloon, the captain dangling off the end with just a hint of fear in his little plastic eyes. And as the captain headed to near space, we drove around for hours tracking him via GPS. We located him later in a cornfield, totally unharmed. Did I mention that the Discovery Channel came and filmed this whole thing? The project ended up on Discovery, CNN, MSNBC, StarTrek.com, and dozens of other blogs. In less than six months, and with the help of hundreds of people, the captain had gone to space. And then they asked, what's next? 
okay, well, let's meet the other captains. Two months later, my friend Elliot, a friendship which started because of the captain, invited me to be his guest as he moderated the Star Trek captains panel at WizCon. What was going to be a quick pre-panel photo turned into William Shatner drowning the captain and Scott Bakula giving him CPR to resuscitate him. <laughs> this one took a little longer, but the 25th anniversary of Star Trek The Next Generation is this year, and the convention happened to be on my birthday in Chicago. Ironic, right? So I splurged in order to have this dysfunctional family photo taken. I'm not going to lie, I felt cold and dirty, and, but the fans were pleased. So even though I'm going broke, I never feel more excited than when I'm out on adventures with the captain. I'm fueled by this community and this, this just totally inspired by the power of this action figure to really connect and engage total strangers, many of whom have become my friends. So what's next, you ask? Well, last season, a Spock action figure, complete with the voice of Leonard Nimoy, made an appearance on the Big Bang Theory. Immediately, my phone, email, Facebook, and Twitter feed blew up with thousands of people all being like, you have to turn it on, like as though I wasn't already watching it. And they collectively decided that the captain should have his own guest appearance. This one is proving to be the most challenging yet, I'm not gonna lie, but the momentum is strong and the Picard community is relentless. So I know it's only a matter of time before they make it so. So what is the moral of this story? Sometimes a bad idea is only a bad idea because you're not hanging around with the right people or drinking enough whiskey.